Hey, it's Ken here with UAV Coach. Welcome back to our Can I Fly My Drone series. This week, we're going to answer the question, can I fly my drone at a Freya? So let's fly in. I think Freya's are probably the most misunderstood programs in the drone space right now. So what is a Freya and why do they exist? Remember that technically as of September 16th, 2023, drones that are required to be registered or are registered, including those flown for recreation, business, or public safety, must comply with the rule on remote ID. A FRIA or FAA recognized identification area is a defined geographic area where drones can be flown without remote ID equipment. There are however some basic rules that must be followed when you're flying in a FRIA without remote ID equipment. The pilot and the drone must be within the FRIA boundaries and the pilot must be able to see the drone at all times. Now, where are these FRIAs and who can use them? Currently, the FAA limits who can apply for a FRIA to FAA-recognized community-based organizations, or CBOs, such as the Academy of Model Aeronautics, First Person View Freedom Coalition, the Flight Test Community Association, and STEM plus C Incorporated, or educational organizations, which include institutions of higher education, junior reserve officer training corps or JROTC programs, and educational programs chartered by a CBO. The FAA recently released a FAA recognized identification area map website that shows all approved FRIAs across the United States. We'll include a link to that site below. So can you fly your drone at a FRIA? Remember the purpose of a FRIA is to allow non-remote ID drones to fly without having to buy a remote ID broadcast module. As I mentioned, the only organizations that can apply for a FRIA are CBOs and educational institutions. But what if you don't belong to either? This is where the answer depends. In my area, there are three FRIAs nearby. One that it's affiliated with a CBO, the AMA, and two that are affiliated with a school junior ROTC program. Now keep in mind that a FRIA is defined as a geographic area, or in other words, property, where you can fly without remote ID. And keep in mind the distinction between airspace and property. Airspace is public use, but property is private. So to access a particular FRIA property, you may need the permission of the CBO or the educational institution affiliated with the FRIA. In my case, the CBO FRIA is in a secure gated area and the CBO requires that you join the organization to be able to access the FRIA property. I believe this is the case with most CBO FRIAs. The ROTC program FRIAs are based at local high schools. Again, these are geographic areas located on school property access to the areas may differ from school to school. In some cases, the area may be fenced off and posted, and in some cases, it may be in an open area that's accessible to anyone. So if you are able to find a FRIA to fly your non-remote ID drone, remember that flying in a FRIA, you're still required to follow the rules of USC 44809 for recreational flights or part 107, meaning that you can't fly over people or fly in a reckless manner, etc. And even if there are no FAA rules that prevent you from flying at a FRIA, you may need permission from an organization to be on the property. If you have a drone with remote ID, you are allowed to fly at a FRIA, but the drone is required to be broadcasting the remote ID. Your pro tip is if you want to fly your non remote ID drone at a FRIA, use the FAA FRIA website to find the affiliate organization and talk with them about flying at that FRIA. The FAA may not restrict you, but since these are geographical areas, someone owns the land and may not want you there. You can't fly without remote ID over the FRIA ground while you're standing outside of the FRIA, so get permission if you need to. Let us know in the comments if you have a can I fly my drone question so that we can cover it in a future video. 
Also hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and hit the subscribe and notification buttons to be notified of upcoming content. Thanks for watching and from all of us here at UAV Coach, we wish you blue skies and safe flying. We'll see you next time.